Всем привет! Мы продолжаем проект Россия, Америка, мир, дружба, жвачка. Сегодня ко мне в гости придет Наташа, молодая американка с перуано-венгерским происхождением, которая родилась здесь, в США. Мы сравним с Наташей американские и русские праздники и традиции. Я расскажу Наташе о таких малоизвестных за рубежом праздниках, как, например, крещение. А Наташа мне расскажет что-то интересненькое в свою очередь. Поэтому присоединяйтесь к нашему уютному Video. Yeah, here is our beautiful Natasha, an American girl that is going to share with us today some of our American traditions and uh, holidays. Yes. So, Natasha, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, so I'm American, as Olga mentioned. I come from a Peruvian and Hungarian descent, so I have a very broad uh, mixture of cultures. Were you born here in the United States? I was. I was born in New York City. I guess growing up with my mom, who is the Peruvian one in my family, um, I've always been more so exposed to her culture. So growing up, it was very much Latin um, celebrations. When I started school, I started learning more about American holidays. So we started celebrating more Thanksgiving and Easter. Uh, Christmas is my favorite holiday. Um, it's always been a time where my family gets together and we cook, we dance, we sing, we drink, we have a good time. So it's always been my favorite. In Catholic culture, it's about Christ and his birthday. Um, but I mean, that's what I grew up with. So, but for me, it's always, it's a beautiful meaning, I think. Um, but it's just always been a very nice time to spend with family and, you know, be around all the people we love. That's good. And when do you celebrate it? I celebrate it. We celebrate it midnight, the 24th. Okay. And we receive Christmas, which is the 25th. And then Christmas Day, we kind of just hang out, cook. You know, it's a bit different from the American tradition. I think the American tradition is the 24th, I think they'll have like an early dinner. And then the 25th, they all wake up to open presents. And whereas in the Latin culture, it's more so, not so much about gifts, it's more so about bringing the family together and celebrating Jesus. And so that's, I think, the difference between American and Latin culture. In Russia, we do celebrate our Christmas on January 7th, but it's pretty much um, the same. We just uh, get together, you know, with the family, we mm -hmm. have a dinner. We just talk and discuss, you know, it's like very cozy winter evening, intimate, yeah. you know, intimate evening in um, Russia. So, I mean, for Russian Christians. Very not, cold, right? Yeah, very, very cold. And as for the cold weather, yes. I wanted to tell you something. Yes. There is one very unknown um, tradition, Christian uh, tradition in Russia that's going on. Um, have you ever heard of uh, the word Epiphany? Yes. Yes? Of course. Heard. So, yes. so that 19th of uh, January mm -hmm. is the day when in Russia this holiday is dedicated to the baptism of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in Jordan River. Mm -hmm. And it actually takes place, so it's uh, on the day of 19th of January. And it's, as you know, in Russia, in January 19th, uh, 19th it's super cold, yes. it's freezing. First you go to the service, church right. service, and right after you bathe in the cold river or is if you're in a village. If you're in a city, it's usually like a wooden vessel that you dip yourself in, you know, like you can have a, little, a short swim if you want to. Oh, that exactly at that night, so the, the water in the river is supposed to be like a healing, like, a, hmm. you know, miraculous, spiritual, right. you know, influence. That's really beautiful though. Yeah, and it's, it's amazing. When you watch the video, you're like, you look like, wow, these mm -hmm. people are just doing something. I have never done this in my life, but this is like in my, bucket list to do it one day because I think it's like so much emotions like yeah. people that did it they told me this so exciting and then right after this base you run into like they call like a fair booth that are next to the um, to the, the river or whatever mm -hmm. so over there you're treated with some hot tea honey and like you're getting vodka. you know Just kidding. Uh, vodka probably <laughs> you can get some vodka. I guess. <laughs> all right so can you please tell me, what are we baking today? Uh, we're gonna be making 
a traditional pumpkin pie. As you see, we have our pumpkin puree because pumpkins are not in season right now. It is very tasty, it's comforting, and it's a very traditional dessert um, during Thanksgiving, which is a very American holiday here. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I believe in 1621, um, it was when the first harvest happened in the New World, mm -hmm. when the pilgrims came from Europe. And realistically, in the American culture, it is something that families celebrate every year and cook and they give thanks. Mm -hmm. um, and that is only once a year that they give thanks. It should be every day, right? Mm -hmm. As I know, uh, so Thanksgiving here in America is the day where, when you have this, I would say, um, like a big dinner mm -hmm. when you cook a lot and I think one of the things that you usually bake is a pumpkin pie, am yes, I right? absolutely. And that is my favorite part about that holiday. I think the only thing that I really love is, oh, really? is the fact that desserts come out and apple pies and pumpkin pies and mm, so... Sounds so good. Yes. Let's get started. Okay, okay. I'm excited. Me too. So I mean, we don't... We have pumpkins, but for some reason in Russia we we never... I mean, personally, my family, we have never made any pumpkin pies at all. Pumpkin pie is really good. I mean, some people don't really like... I think when they think of a pumpkin inside of a dessert, they think, ew, it's kind of <laughs> weird, but um, it's really delicious. So We're going to break all the stereotypes today. I will. <laughs> so first, we're going to pour our pumpkin puree. So here is a the close the shots, Raphael. Zgushonka. We have, that's... How do you pronounce it? Zgushonka. Say zgushonka. 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 Not bad. Skushonka. Skushonka. Well, the skushonka. 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 Skushonka is in. Now, vamos a poner el azúcar. Oh, there we go. Now it's coming out. Okay, I think we have to roll it out a little. Yes. Can you please tell me what is your best memories? Uh, from your childhood as for celebration? I think Christmas when I was seven. I remember we were, it was a big group of my family at home. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, waited till midnight. We had panetón and we had hot chocolate and we ate dinner at 12 o'clock, um, which is pretty late for some people. But, um, and I just remember we had, um, one of my uncles pulled out his guitar and started playing music Aww. and it was just such a beautiful, beautiful memory. That's, I think, my best memory of a holiday as a kid. I think just having everyone in my family together was really beautiful. Um, you know, obviously as everyone starts growing and having children, some people like start their own traditions, but that year I think was the, the last year we all spent it together, which was great, so. Amazing, yeah. it's so cool that here in America you kind of accept the holidays of a country you live in, right. but then at the same time you invest something of your own yeah. in this holiday that makes it, makes it so unique. That's Absolutely. amazing. Yeah, everyone sprinkles a little bit of their traditions into it, so it's yeah. nice. It's Actually, in Russia, the tea ceremony is very big. So, like, literally, after every meal, we have tea. Like, my meal is not complete if I don't finish it with oh. uh, tea. And I love this part because it's the time when you're all together, you're talking, you know, it's just like so co cozy and yeah. it's just the feeling that you are just all around, you know, at the table with the family and having a conversation. So I love the tea ceremony. So in Russia, for example, we have also obviously a new year yeah. and we have Christmas as I already mentioned before it's on the 7th of January mm -hmm. so here in America what's bigger in celebration um, new year or Christmas that's a good question well I think it's so Christmas I feel like is a holiday that people who follow certain religious beliefs in America celebrate okay. whereas New Year's Eve is kind of like a nationwide worldwide celebration where everyone receives the new year you know the fireworks and right. the countdown and but in america i think new year's eve is a much like i think it's yeah i think it's a lot bigger just because it doesn't 
exclude anyone. Okay. You know, because people in America do practice certain religions, yeah. even though they're American. And All right. Thank um, you. so I think it's more of a choice that you choose to celebrate Christmas, like depending on how you were raised. And right. So. Because there in Russia, we actually exchange the gifts for New Year, not for Same. Christmas. Yeah. And then because Christmas is literally is just the dinner in, with your family, very quiet, intimate dinner and uh, usually like a smaller family not like a big family and for new year's eve that's the celebration of the year it's like a huge celebration right it's like everybody's in it because it comes first mm -hmm. for us right like first is 31st of january oh, i'm sorry of uh, december. december so obviously it comes first and then in january uh 7th is something quiet is just to get back on the piece that's because actually we have for 10 days we have uh, usually the holidays like the whole Russia everybody mm -hmm. rests from New Year's to like 10th of January oh, that's it's nice. like a, a national uh. Uh, week off I would say a week and a half off so it's great so everybody's like 7th of January is like something to it's like get everyone's back. well rested for the new year exactly but New Year's that's a big celebration do you guys do in Russia the midnight kiss on New Year's? The besom? Uh, yeah, we do. Is I'm, that is because that's like yeah, it's very typical here in America, like to kiss. kiss someone at midnight or yeah, we do. I uh, we have very popular uh, tradition. Uh, we write the wish on the paper and then at twelve oh, while the, the the twelve you know the, the beat, countdown the, the countdown yeah and then um you burn. You burn the paper, you put it in your champagne, and you have to drink it. What? Yes. Is and, that and not they toxic? Say, no, I mean, <laughs> just don't pick the toxic paper. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. Another question I was always wondering, as mm -hmm. for me, newly arrived, you know, person to the United States, not very newly, but imagine I'm newly arrived to the United States, and um, what do you think? Would American family uh, invite me for like let's say very family oriented holidays as Christmas or Thanksgiving would they invite me like you know I'm a, not a random person but not I'm not like let's say family yeah, or family someone or known something. right so what do you think and how would this tell us as for Americans in general like ordinary Americans well I definitely think you would be welcomed because I think that everyone understands most people understand in this country that, um, you know, people, f it's, it's a beautiful thing when someone from a different country comes to share their traditions and to, you know, share um, different beliefs together and experience things. So I think that you would be welcomed and mm -hmm. it would be cool for you to learn some American traditions and maybe try certain American foods, which I'm not sure which are American foods. <laughs> <laughs> like burgers, and, burgers fries. and fries um, and for them to learn about you and you know what kind of food you eat and your traditions and um, I think I'd like to say we're a pretty open country in that sense I think we all have things in common but what makes us different are just our you know different traditions and beliefs but at the end of the day we all have the same reason for wanting to celebrate things and you know do certain things so you know family is definitely a priority during the holidays, and I think it's the same thing for Russians. So absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Everybody just gonna want to be next to each other. Love is be the loved. answer. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm excited. Our pie is almost ready. Mm. Get yes. Yes. Yummy. Yummy. <laughs>